right, the next speaker will be uh, Van Garbusian, uh, who has been involved in this field for more than 20 years now. And he is a founder and owner of the uh, Amonix, uh, which is in the cutting edge of technology for uh, uh, the new development. I think uh, Dr. Kevorkian already mentioned a few of his uh, uh, things that uh, Wang will uh, probably go in more, much more detail. Uh, he has uh, electrical engineering from uh, UCLA, and his BS is from MIT. Uh, and uh, he started Amonix uh, about uh, 20 years ago. And uh, he's uh, uh, the, both the CEO and also the technical guru behind it. So if you have any questions later on, I'm sure you'll be able to answer for all of the. Well, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I brought a few gadgets so I can show it to you. So how it works. It's difficult to explain them on the board. Alright. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm Bahangar Bushan, as I said. Uh, I'm going to discuss a little bit, uh, not the physics, or like uh, Dr. Kevor can explain to you, but I'm going to discuss more into the application. And uh, I'm going to start saying that, okay, the sun, the way we see it, is basically if you take one square meter area and we have about 1,000 watts in very nice, beautiful day, you have about approximately 1,000 watts falling on one square meter. Now, the problem with that one is it's, uh, it's, not, it's very dispersed energy. It's not like gasoline or nuclear or whatever it is that you have so much energy in it in a... Uh, it, it is dispersed. So what you're going to do to harness that energy, you have to put something in its path. Therefore, to absorb it, convert it, it depends on the efficiency of that particular cell that Dr. Kevorkian was saying. That's where convert it from, whether it's 10% efficient, 20%. And the ones you see on your rooftop, for example, they're about, uh, you know, 12 to 13, 14% efficiency cells. Now, you put 100 watts in it, you get 13. Or put 1,000, you get 100. 20 or something like that. So uh, the, the, the material that's made from, like Dr. Kevorkian showed you, is made in primarily at this point from silicon. And uh, silicon is basically a very expensive material, the same material that you make your uh, you know, microprocessor from, your chip. And so it is uh, abundant. However, by the time you process and make it happen, it's very expensive. So if you try to cover that area of one square meter with silicon it gets very expensive. Therefore, it doesn't yield itself to make a, a, you know, low-cost solar electric generation. So about 20 years ago, like somebody said that I stopped 20 years ago, I was in telecommunication before that, I decided that I want to do low-cost solar energy generation and, uh, for the masses. I said, then what can I do? How you go about it? Because silicon is expensive and the people were playing at that time uh, with thin film. If any one of you heard what's called thin film, it means that you use very like paint. Uh, but, but it doesn't have a crystalline structure, therefore the efficiency goes down drastically. So, and it takes lots of area. So at that time I figured out if, okay, it's very simple. In my mind it came in and said, if I can separate the collection from the conversion, maybe I have something important. And I look into the technologies and I decided the best way to do that is it was what they call the concentrating technology. It's very simple, the concentrating technology. The principle of it, any one of you could go experiment at home, don't burn yourself. But this takes about the lens or mirror, and you've seen lots of you, and I, um, I bet you most of the guys over here, the devilish guys, they burn cigarettes when they're little kids with their uh, little lens. We, we're politically incorrect right now to do anything like that. Uh, but that's the principle, basically. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm showing you this is the lens, what we call it Fresnel lens. It's actually the round lens that you people see normally. Okay, it's a, uh, this is translated that one, the curvature into this lens. This has lots of facets. Every facet has a little bit different angle. And when you put it against the light, unfortunately we don't have a, uh, something over here. It doesn't, it's a, well, it, you go see it here, but it concentrates uh, all the light in one area. So, 
But to make long story short, that's a lens, and it's a plastic lens. It's called Fresnel <coughs> lens that you use into projectors and to many, many applications. But this is designed specifically for this. The other part of it, you need a, uh, this is a collector. The sun falls on this one this much. It collects, this is about, you could collect like 30 watts of power because the, I know the size of it. And then uh, you go over here and this is a receiver plate. Okay, the receiver plate in normally, like Dr. Kevorkian says, the cells that people make, to this is 30 watts sun falling on it. You have to cover all this one with silicon solar cells. What we do over here, we put an intermediary in here. The intermediary goes in the sun, I mean, uh, looks at the sun, and it's concentrate the sunlight on a very tiny cell right in the middle of this thing. It's hard to see from distance, but there's a less than a square centimeter cell, and this one is about 350 centimeters. Therefore, you get about 580, 600 concentrations. If you put this in the sun and you pass it by or something, it burns anything in its path. So, the, the whole idea was originally did, uh, a cell did not exist that can take that rigors or that concentration. So Amenix worked on that. My company's name is Amenix. I work on it. And we made a cell in 1992 that was like 27% efficiency from silicon to do that. So this is the principle of it. And the principle that, as every one of you knows, when you get this lens and you get a, uh, somewhere a target, you have to always look at the sun. So this is the a little bit added advantage to the, this technology because already the tracking built in, it means that you're maximizing the sun's conversion every second because it's moving with the sun. When you hit something on your rooftop, it doesn't move. Sun hits it from angles, sometimes it doesn't hit it. And I see some passing in Los Angeles, water and power. Somewhere uh, when you go in that area, you have the staple center in there. They have some it put on the north side it doesn't even see the sun sometimes. This is, the point is, this, with this thing, it, it gets a maximum. I hope it's, uh, I, I know it's supposed to be somebody from water and power. Uh, so, uh, it's, it's, uh, what it is, is basically for high, uh, you know, large scale energy generation. You can't afford to do that. You have to do it where you maximize your energy every moment. So you could get lowest, what we call LCOE, levelized cost of energy, which is kilowatt hour per dollars per kilowatt hour or cents per kilowatt hour. So that I have explained the technology to you how it works. Let me go into my presentation to some degree. Okay. Uh, uh, so uh, this technology of high concentration has existed for a long time. Even people from the very, about thousand years ago, people used to use mirrors to burn incoming, uh, you know, uh, uh, um, uh, yeah from many, many years back. And in, in uh, 1920 or something, even the Germans, they made a trough concentrator in Egypt to boil water and what have you. So concentrating the sunlight, the concept exists. The cell to make that, to convert it and think it didn't exist in the past. And it's only a new phenomenon last 10, 20 years that it's been perfected. And so uh, that's, uh, I say, why, uh, so why, why concentrators? Okay, very first thing is really bring the cost of electricity down drastically because this most expensive element that you use, which is the silicon, or in this uh, modern day multi junction devices that Dr. Kevorkian showed you over there, it really has extremely high efficiency, like a 40% efficiency. And so, uh, this uh, versus like 13% for the rooftop. 40% efficiency is very expensive, though, but you're using very tiny amount of it. Therefore, the, uh, then you really, in real life, you're substituting very expensive silicon or multi-junction cells with totally inexpensive, you know, plastic lenses. But you need to track it. Therefore, all this ancillary equipment that you use to track, to make into a system that to fit into particular uh, you know, application like utility scale application or something, you need to have a system that abides with all the rules, laws, and everything else. And that's where, and it doesn't eat up all your savings you get. So everybody could track. Radar people maybe, they know they track, but it costs you a million dollars to track very accurately. In this case, you have to make the same thing for $20,000. So you get a lot of big tasks. So our company has been working many, many years to perfect this technology from the beginning to the end. We made the cell, we made the lens, the physics, the optics, the structure, and everything else. And we were successful a few years ago. We put the highest 
electric generating system in the world. So that's what we do. That's 